Now it's not that easy to spot, but the um, the graph we're given, um, the equation for the graph we're given is not the same as the one we're asked to solve. If you have a look, there's a minus 2 at the end, and on this one there's a minus 6. So what we need to do is just rearrange the equation that we're asked to solve so that we have the equation of the graph, which is this one here, on one of the sides. And to do that, I'm going to just put my lines in. And I'm going to simply just, uh, what is it, minus 2. So I'm going to add 4 to both sides. So I haven't changed anything here. But we have minus 2 on this side equals 4. Now, when you have um, two equations, one on the left, one on the right, and you need to um, solve them, you need to find out what x is, what you can do is just draw this equation here. So y equals that equation here. Draw y equals this equation here, so put a y equals on both of those. And it's where the two graphs uh, intersect. Now we've already had that quadratic, the one on the left, drawn for us. So we just need to draw the other one, which is y equals 4. So it should be, let me get this perfect, it should be a line across here. And all you need to do is read off uh, the x-coordinates that the two lines hit, which is here and here. And by the looks of it, that left-hand one is minus 1. And the right-hand one, it could be anything between 0.5 and 0.6. Um, I think I'd go for 0.5 on that. But on the exam, when it gets to that degree, um, I think they'll give you 0.5 or 0.6. It's clearly not less than 0.3, it's clearly not more than, uh, sorry, less than 0.4, it's not more than 0.6, but anything between there should be alright on the exam. So that's how you solve um, quadratics using graphs.